All right, welcome back to Solaris, where the war that never ends rages on because my ally is a dickhead. If I can, I find out when the hell this war started, because I would really like that. Just see just how much time my ally has wasted from me. Oh, there we go. 2356. So this war has been going on for over 10 years, and it's coming up on 20 years. My ally is a dumbass. <laughs> Ugh, fuck's sake. Uh. What spaceport is under attack? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Uh. If, if this war goes on for 20 years, though, I am very tempted. If I'm tempted right now to kick my ally out of the Federation and kill them. But I'm not. At least not yet, because I need to get somebody else into the Federation. Th that being these guys. So that if I do kick my ally out of the Federation, I could kill them without losing all my progress on the Federation. Speaking of which, actually, it's a fucking long-ass time until I reach level 5. Because it takes so fucking long. I think I ended up calculating it and it's like 50 years to get to level 5 or some shit. So yeah, that's not ideal. What's going on in the World Congress? A whole lot of nothing. As per usual, of course. I thought I was sure that I had some ships here. I don't know. I could get more ships. Is that probably... Is that what I want? We don't want to start getting repair stuff, actually. If more Fallen Empire ships are quite good, though. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. It just makes sense. I still have a Ascension perk that I've yet to use. Oh, I can actually take Engineer Revolution. Yeah, sure. And now I can start to do basically whatever the hell I want with uh, the Xenos. Turn the slaves into proper slaves. Turn the food into proper food. And it's all well and good. <laughs> Let's see, I need Glandular Acclamation. And that's that. Alright, I need to find Glandular Acclamation then. For that, I'd probably want to put a biologist into society then. Eh. Empire Swap for Pops is reduced. Very nice, because I think that's probably my highest source. Yeah, so that helps. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of mountains. Seems fine with me. Ooh, I'm starting to see uh, endless techs. Interesting. I didn't think I'd be at that point yet, especially considering I had a bit of a uh, snag in my research for a while there. Oh my god, I wish my ally would just end the war. Like, I could so easily just destroy our enemies, but I don't want to. It's a waste of my time and resources. So look at this shit. Plus 50 Navy strength. I am a master of warfare. Ugh. Alright, so build costs reduced, build speeds increase, very nice. And then city district get an extra housing slot, very nice. I guess the only way this war is going to end is if I attack the war leader, which I really don't want to do. Apparently, I've already been doing that. Alright then. Don't remember doing that, but apparently, I have been doing that. Alright then. Yeah, occupation might work how it works in CK2, where the only occupation that matters is the war leader. <laughs> See, I've occupied a lot of shit, and we only have 12, uh, 15% now. So, I'm going to guess that it only is affected by the war leader's occupation. Oh, this is going to take a while. And here's the thing, this isn't going to be ticking towards victory anymore because they're already at 100 war exhaustion, so that's wonderful. I ideally want a biology researcher if all possible. And, well, I, mean, I got plenty of money, fuck it. Why are there so many particle experts? I don't fucking get it. 
All right, one more. One more. All right, that's what I'm done looking. <laughs> uh, I guess let's get this guy, the statecraft guy. God damn, it's gonna take my ship so long to get back to port after this war, man. Whoop to do! Uh, murdering them all. <laughs> God damn it, it just wants war to end! My well, ally might end the war once we reach 100 war exhaustion. The 100 war exhaustion though cannot come anytime soon. Cause there's so much stuff that I want to do, and I can't do it with a bunch of assholes being dickheads, so... Sucks, man. Well... I mean, I'm pincering them a little bit. It really doesn't matter, though. So, pff, whatever. Uh, my ally is dumb as fuck. He is extremely dumb as fuck. Ah, oh, yes, sanctions, because that's all these idiots know how to vote on. Because they're dumbasses. Uh, yeah, extra faction influence is the best one. Yeah, I'm not getting much good tech now. It really sucks, but, yeah. Because, yeah, I researched all the techs that I really care about, so it's just kind of meh. It also doesn't help that this war is just sucking my spirit. Because it's fucking dumb as shit. And my ally is dumb as shit. And I'm probably going to murder him because he's dumb as shit. <laughs> uh. Yeah, get this guy into my federation, kill my ally, and then just go on with a federation of me and one faction. That doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's not really a federation at that point. It's just me and vassals, but pff, whatever. It appears that I have got the enemy trapped and cornered. They're gonna die now. They better fucking die now. Because <laughs> goddamn... I'm tired of hunting them. Who the hell are you? I don't know, but you like me for some reason. Why do you like me? Approve relations? What the fuck? Oh, is these guys... Wait, what? Oh, is there just another just tiny-ass empire that just rose up out of nothing? Yeah, sure, I'll take you. Hmm. I suppose I'll start improving relations with them. Yeah, I gotta wait till this war is over to add members to the Federation. So far, I can only give them association status. Which I've given both of them to, apparently. Don't know when the hell I gave this guy association status, because I thought he only had one association status, but whatever. Actually, it really should show in, like, the Federation screen who the associates are. Because it doesn't. And that's kind of annoying, because I apparently completely forgot that I gave association status to one of the Xenos in the galaxy. And then I'm forgetting about that, it's kind of bullshit. But, whatever. <laughs> and I'm just going insane, because this war is awful. In fact, the war's reached 20 years. Hooray! Ugh, my ally is fucking stupid. Wait, wait, no, it hasn't reached 20 years yet. Wait. Alright, now the war's been 20 years. This war is fucking awful and I hate it. 20 years that I could have spent making my planets better or purging other Xenos. All spent on this stupid fucking war. Because my ally is a stupid fucking bitch. Ugh. 
Uh, do I have the energy building built? No. Where is the energy building? There we go, energy grid. I can exploit dark matter now. It's quite fucking nice. I know I have some dark matter on my borders somewhere. There it is. Uh, where's the nearest construction ship? Probably about... Probably the one on the left over here. Yeah, I don't see any others. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while, but that's fine. I'm not like I'm gonna be using dark matter anytime soon. God, the Federation fleet is so fucking slow. Or maybe my Fallen Empire fleet is just so fucking fast. I don't know, it's one of the two. I don't think it really matters which. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. I don't like when my games freeze for any reason, really, because it makes me think that my game has crashed. And that's not a good feeling. I fucking hate it. Alright, keep building. Ooh, I can start building cloning vats. I'm tempted, actually. Yeah, I'm actually quite tempted. That way I get more senators, because I really fucking need senators, man. Ooh, what the fuck? Whee! Alright. Oh, there's tile blockers here. Uh, remove that shit. I'm gonna make sure this place has two less max districts, so I can fit in an agriculture district and another city district. That's all well and good. But then again, I'm going to get a bonus to the city districts. To housing, so... More city districts isn't really that good. Pincer them, block every available escape route that they have, and kill them. Yes. God, I wish that we would get to 100% war exhaustion while I would just fucking end the war. God damn it. You know, my ally is 100% getting punished for this shit. Oh, you're joking, man. Really? Where? I'm not even taking any trade from anywhere. Oh, that makes sense. Over there, yep. The land that I took shits would, of course, have trade going through it because I don't give a shit about trade, but the AI does. God damn it. Alright. Wait, did they just lose to the starbase? I think they did. That's actually kind of fucking funny. Um, uh, this war. I fucking hate this war. Ah, uh, just kill me. This war sucks. Let's get some big-ass research places, because I need more research. A lot of it. All of it. I might try rolling another, what do you call it, another biologist at this point. Uh, where's the leaders? There they are. This guy's got a robot. That's pretty cool. This guy's also got a robot. I have so many fucking scientists. Oh yeah, that's right. Leaders do have an upkeep, don't they? Ah, it's fine. Whatever. Maniacal. That's another robot. I got so many people with robots. Oh, fucking finally! Christ, it's about damn time. Oh, and of course the fucking Federation flip. You, bitch. No, I'm leaving this Federation. I am killing this bastard. For his wasting of my time. Yes, this is much better than how things should be. Me vassalizing all the lesser Xenos. There's no time for peace. Time is. T it's time for war! Against the filthy Xenos that think that they can treat me this way. I will show them all. I don't care how strong the Federation fleet is. I will destroy it. In fact, you know what? Disband this fleet. I have better uses for those ship slots. Now then, let's start building a new fleet, shall we? Create new with a battleship. I'm going to have so many strike craft that it will blot out the sun. Yes. More strike craft. Wonderful. 
absolutely wonderful. Am I going to a treaty with my vassal? Yeah, sure. And you know what? I will give my vassal some resources to help their development. Especially because I really have no use for these resources, so I might as well just make them like me more. Uh, yeah, let's give them like a thousand of uh, minerals and a thousand food. And a thousand alloys. And a thousand consumer goods. They don't get energy, though. The energy is mine. There we go. Just help my vassal's development. I'm a good overlord. When Azino submits to me, I see that. As their unwavering subservience. And I know that they are a Zeno that is not that bad. So I treat them well. But if I have to force my enemies into subjugation, they will get no pity. Only death. Also, I assume that the Federation has broken down because they were the only member at that point. That would be the case. <laughs> ah, pity. That was my ally's plan all along. Or should I say, my ex-ally. Oh well. A pity that none will ever know of their loyalty. <laughs> they were such a loyal ally. They were helping me, giving me more money, and now I have to kill them because they made one fatal mistake. Only proving that the Xenos are to not be trusted. It's funny. You think you know a species, and they pull that shit on you. Ah, bastards. How are my battleships coming in? I need them to blot out the sun with strike craft. And I only have one shipyard. That is fine. We'll get the ships out fast enough. Ah, shit. I reached max influence. No, that's fine. I could do capacity overload. I could do uh, nothing else really because I don't really want to do anything else. There's low stability on this planet. Slaves are radicalizing for a little over 10 years, goddamn. I need to get some armies on this planet, whoops. I should just do martial law, fuck it, it's easier. Where's martial law? There it is. That helps a little bit. Not enough, though, unfortunately. How annoying. Mm, let's get some, uh... Let's replace this with a soldier job. How's the, uh, ah, good. We have the, uh, the darkness. What was it called? Dark matter. There we go. Had it for a little while, too. What'd that say? Like 15 months? Yeah, 16. There we go. The greatest fleet the galaxy has seen. Except not really, but... It'll reach that point eventually. Hmm. Better point defense? I like that idea. Hmm. Who shall I go and conquer now? These guys still have land that I want. Yeah, very much so. Or I could come up against these guys. Or I could kill my old ally. Yes, I think I prefer that one. Yes. It's been far too long since my ally has been cut down to size. Actually. There we go. Much better now. And let's get all the claims, shall we? All of the claims in the galaxy will be mine soon enough. I think that's good enough for a first war. It pushes them back, takes a planet off of them, actually takes multiple planets off of them. And a curator station, excellent! Oh, and I am now full on energy and making a decent profit of energy. Excellent! I think it might be time to just start hoarding all the resources then. <laughs> 
good. This place needs a governor. Too bad I haven't hired like a million governors like I did with the <laughs> with the researchers. Oops. Oh well. Ah, glandular acclimation. Good. So that means in 24 months I could finish the genetic perfection of my species and all the filthy xenos that I have decided to take in under my wing of protection. Wait, we don't have wings. We're squid things. Under my tentacle of protection. Mm, yes, battleship build speed. Very nice. Actually, on my capital, I should build cloning vats. Yes. What do I replace? Probably robot assembly plants, to be honest. I don't imagine robots to be much use at this point. I mean, the robots could work in the foundry arcology, I suppose. Yeah, maybe not that useless. Because I assume that robots can work specialist jobs. Or at least droids can, not robots. Um, uh, It's hard to say, because I don't know. Because I'm xenophobic, so I think all but my primary species can't be specialist or something. I don't know. Right, let's just take a safe option. Wait, that one upgrade it. Oh yeah, that one is upgraded. Fucking hell. Alright, I'm going to check that, actually. Why do I have just one upgraded one? <laughs> That, that's weird, alright, whatever. Let's take one of the non-upgraded ones and turn that into something. And yeah, let's just upgrade another research complex. In fact, let's upgrade the one that's already upgraded, because why not? Oh, is this planet finally willing to be a prospering member of my empire? Oh, damn time. Holy shit, there's so many fucking housing slots here. Christ. Oh, I can actually, yeah give jobs to this planet at long last and not just have them everybody be a goddamn soldier to keep the peace huh yeah that seems fine I think I'll keep one like, I'll keep the precinct house around that way I can like jail the fools that need jailing and such but eh, whatever Hmm. A question. Labor overseers of mm, mm, uh, report disturbing development among our robotic workforce. Two weeks ago, at roughly oh, 0300 hours, robotic worker blah 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 paused in the middle of its designated task and approached to approach the night shift foreman and uttered the following query Is unit blah 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 in position of a soul? No! They don't have souls, they're filthy machines. No machine would have a soul. Hell, Xenos barely even have souls. As we could see by the greedy fools that were once my allies. <sighs> Somehow my ex-ally is equivalent to me. That won't last for long. Their economy will crumble to ash. I will make sure all their planets are not but smoldering craters for their treachery against me and my glorious people and my glorious empire. They know not of the mistakes they made when bringing me into that 20 year war. And because of those mistakes, they are fucked. It's only a matter of time until my people can reach perfection. <laughs> uh, our one and only goal to ascend and be truly perfected among all the filthy Xenos and show that we are, yes, indeed, the greatest species in the galaxy. Unfortunately, though, these damn fools keep wanting to vote for sanctions when nobody's even breached the galactic law. Oh well. In fact, I don't need to improve relations with anybody anymore, so let's fix... Oh right, I'm not in a federation anymore! Oh, damn! <laughs> Looks like I can put all my envoys into improving my power and become the Sit. It will be mine. 
A boost of nearly 3,000 voting power. I will take that. Very much so. Ah, yes. <sighs> the Xenos are going to soon be voted into obscurity. Once that council is formed, there's nothing that could stop me. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, yes, indeed. Our economy is doing fine. Our fleet is doing amazing. Let's take a look at the fleet, because I actually don't remember what I put on it. No, it's beautiful, isn't it? The perfection of warfare. No filthy Xeno could ever th even think about breaching this ship. But... Greetings, Senators. Have you no doubt we Ashani are dedicated to the study of conservation wolf? Oh, you want one of my population, eh? No! They are mine! You'll get nothing! No soup for you! Now then, what was I talking about? Oh yes, the perfection! That is my glorious battleships! Nary a single enemy ship could take one down. The, the galaxy will tremble before my might. Yes. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. We're building a better tomorrow, which will allow for more resources from the workers. <laughs> Essentially the slaves. All of them. Yes, and once the council is formed, there will be nary a diplomatic freedom in the galaxy. And soon enough, we will reach perfection. Yes. Let's see, is there a... No, and I'm done searching for one. Actually, then again, I should put a guy with a robot in there. Yes, guys with robots know what they're doing a bit better. Excellent, that's much better. Well, it showed for like a month, but whatever. It's faster. That's all that matters. Why is this planet so angry? Oh, because the slaves are radicalizing, right? And martial law. Yeah. I see your issues. I don't care, though. I choose to ignore them. Yeah, speaking of which, actually, let's just build a stronghold to uh, keep suppressing your freedom even more. How is my, uh, how's my business world doing? My bureaucracy, yes. Mm, we're not even filling the bureaucratic jobs. How very annoying. There's a lot of crime on this planet. Perhaps I should do something about that. Yeah, fine, let's negotiate with the crime lords. Where is it? Well, wait, no, I don't want to negotiate with the crime lords, because stability is not the issue. Crime is the issue. Let's do an anti-crime campaign, then. And let's get... Let's replace one of these administrative offices with a precinct house. That way, I can get rid of the filthy criminals. And I bet all those filthy criminals are probably filthy Xenos, but... Whatever. Let's see, this planet seems to be doing fine. Let's give it a cloning event. Uh, defense grid supercomputer. That sounds excellent. 12 more months until we can finally ascend. The resolution of building a better tomorrow has passed. Now, if only we can stop voting for sanctions. Well... I suppose I could talk to another empire. You. <laughs> it appears that my old ally has a few tricks up their sleeve. They're stronger than I originally imagined. That's fine. I just need one empire to help with my needs. And I promise that you will be given... Yeah, yeah we give something, I'm sure. And everyone is suspicious of me. They should be. These guys are neutral, however. You there. 
I have a proposition that you cannot refuse. Owe me ten favors, and I will give you plenty of alloys so you can upgrade your ships and such. That sounds like a great deal, does it not, friend? <laughs> I knew that you couldn't refuse. Go on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good. Now, let's call in some favors, shall we? No, no, no. Not on that. On this. There we go. Now, we're going to vote for a council. And only a galactic council. And after the galactic council has been formed, then, and only then, will I be able to truly release the grasp of the Kraken upon the galaxy. Yes. It would be great. Just sprawling over, putting its tentacles on everything. It would be glorious. It would be a golden age for the galaxy. And there's nothing they could do to stop it. Huh. You guys. Yes, yeah, so the ones that I accidentally befriended thinking that you were merely a minor empire on the global stage. Yes. Perhaps I was a bit too harsh on the Xenos. Maybe. Most likely not, though. Perhaps there are some Xenos that could truly be good. Probably not, though. But only four more months until my scientist decree that we can become perfect. Well, I suppose it would take time for all the genetic resequencing and the such, but those are problems that will cross that bridge when we get there. But once we have the capacity to turn our people into godly beings of destruction, then we could show the galaxy what we're truly made of. Yes, only two more months now. Two more months. One more month. And then... Let's check out the Galactic Community in the meantime. Excellent. The Xenos understand their place. They understand that a council must be formed to protect everybody's best interests. And my worthless old ally is going to be one of those members. Hmm. The only reason they grew to that strength is because of me. They owe all of their success to me. I was protecting them while they were a weak, fledgling empire. But that doesn't matter now. As we are going to ascend to godhood. Where are we? We are here. 160 billion of us. Excellent. What do we want? Wait. Ah, yes. Hold on. Uh. Right. There it is. Wait. Oh wait, hold on. No, we gotta do this first. Shit. No, we we gotta hold off on uh, genetic perfection for another 114 months. Well, shit. Damn it. So close. But that will have to happen for later. I will see you next time.